Here in Locha, we are lucky to have a series of underground rivers that supply our drinking water all year round. Hence, it is also known as the city of water. Not all of the country is blessed with so much luck. So why has Spain the only desert in Europe and why is it growing in size each year? Find out on this, the penultimate episode, when today we look at dry Spain. Olive groves, that symbol of the deep south, that romantic emblem of Andalusia and the Mediterranean region. And the humble olive has certainly had its share of a global success. Spain accounts for 45% of the world's total olive oil production, but it does so at a price. In the vegetable or human world, monocultures are not good things to encourage. They create all sorts of problems, bugs, infestations, boring landscapes, and a complete imbalance of nature. Life is hardwired to interact. We function best when we rub shoulders with all sorts of people, not just our closest cousins. Look at the royal families of the world, for example. Are they a healthy example of monocultures? Other than the royal family, the biggest and most extensive monoculture in Spain are the vast olive groves of Andalusia, where more than 80 tonnes of soil per hectare is lost every year because of the intensive farming methods. The soil simply cannot regenerate quick enough, and it's estimated that almost one-fifth of the country is currently at risk of turning into desert. So... What to do about this? Well, I have two ideas that I think could tip the balance, though maybe just a little controversial for some of you. Idea number one, give up playing golf in areas of desertification risk. Close down all golf courses in continental and Mediterranean areas. This would save the equivalent water expenditure as that of Belgium. Plus, parts of the coast may once more resume sensible names for their towns instead of Golf Bay or Putty Pueblo. Idea number two. Change our diets so that we once again eat seasonal food and not have to artificially maintain plastic greenhouses the size of Holland in order to be able to consume tasteless and carcinogenic tomatoes in November. Well, I did say it might be a tad controversial. And controversy raises its familiar head one last time in this final episode of this mini-series on Spain. Join me for episode 12, the grand finale, when the gazpacho monk invites you to come and taste a little of edible Spain. Say cheese.